Okay. All right. So today I want to do just a quick overview of uh, Exchange Admin Center with Office 365. Nothing crazy, nothing complicated. Um, just try to make it as simple as possible. Obviously, you could ask me questions if you like, and if you want to add something to it, like uh, Donish or 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 uh, Hammy, it's, you go ahead and do that. But let me let me share my screen real quick, and we we'll get started. Okay. So when you log in for the first time, um, this is like some of what I went over this morning with the students, but not all of it. But we're gonna go over some of it today. So when you log in for the first time, um, you go into the portal, right? The portal has this, this website, office.com. There's, there's several ways to log into Microsoft Office, but we log in with office.com. And the first thing you you literally you literally care about is um, walking a user or walking a client or working working with someone on their laptop or desktop and then telling them, oh, you go to the right-hand side and you may have to walk them through how to install Office 365, like the application. So obviously you gotta give them a license and they go in there and then you just download it for them and they're good to go after that. So sometimes you'll get calls about that. You'll get calls like, uh, I just got a laptop and this laptop didn't come with Outlook, Word, Excel. Can you install it for me? Like, yeah, yeah, I got you. Then you go Office 365, office.com. They log in with their credentials and then they go to the right and then they install it. So that's just something real quick, you know, just to note because in a job environment, you may be, you may be, you may get a ticket about this um, probably every day. <laughs> if you don't have like a, a, if you don't have like uniform laptops or desktops, you may get a request about this. So that's why I have to go over, over that. Um, the next thing you, you care about is on the left-hand side is all these tabs right over here. Um, just remember that Office 365 that they are, or Microsoft, they have a tendency of changing their tabs and changing the way their layout looks every single month, every single day. So whatever I show you today, like these tabs may look different probably next month or the month after because they always attend to change the way their layout looks because they're always doing updates. So whatever I teach you today, the layout may, be look, may look different, but you should still be able to access the same tabs here if that makes sense. So the one that we care about is admin. So when you click on admin, it's gonna take you to this tab right over here. And this is the Microsoft Office 365 Admin Center, right? So I'm gonna get into Exchange, but before I do that, I wanna go over to users, right? So why, why am I going over users? I'm going over users because I wanna show you what you could do as a, as a admin on users. So if we go here, there are different mailboxes here. These are like the interns that I have on my CavTech internship. I give people licenses. I'm gonna go, if you notice, before I even go over this, if you notice on the top right-hand side, like it says your display name, username and licenses. If you notice, it says unlicensed because I think this person doesn't have a license. This person has a license. So if you click on the user or you click on the, on the person, you highlight that person, right? It tells you more information about that person. It tells you their email address. It tells you their alias. You could sign. You could sign them out of their sessions. You could view when's the last time they signed in. If they have an alternative email address. You could go right here and you know add it there. Uh, it tells you what groups they're part of, and it tells you what roles they that they have. So this person is my this person is my director or my instructor in Australia. I gave him access to Exchange Admin Center on, on this um, particular, um, I guess my account, my KevTech Office Suite account. So he has access to administrator. Uh, if you wanna change the roles, you actually go here. So if you click on manage roles, this is where it gets very complicated because you could, by default, every user you work with, they're not gonna have Admin Center, obviously. This is all like admin stuff, right? By default, a, a user or a client will have access to this. But if you're working with, with someone that works IT, you go in here and you, you give them limited access. You may, you may check mark exchange admin just to give them access to admin. And this one says full access to exchange admin, creates, manage groups, manage service requests and monitors service health. We don't give anyone global administrator. That's the access that I have right now. So it's basically, that's everything. So you don't do that, right? Obviously, if you work help desk or IT support, you'll probably have access to 
probably exchange admin center in a job environment. If they if they're like if they're nice to you, they'll probably give you access to this. It probably won't give you access to this. You probably won't be able to log in at all and do any of these things, but it's good to know anyway, right? If you go to global reader, it tells you you can view can view all administrative features and settings in all domain centers. If you go to help desk administrator, reset passwords, re-authenticate for all non-admins, some admin roles, manage service requests, monitor service health. If you go to the bottom one, uh, service support administrator, create service requests for Azure, Microsoft Office 365, Microsoft 365 services, monitor service health. Uh, we have SharePoint administrator, full access to SharePoint stuff. We have Teams administrator, full access to Teams and Skype. We have the user administrator, reset user password, create and manage user groups. And then if you go all the way down here and you click on this, it gets even more complicated. You can actually add more stuff in here. You can exchange admin center. It gives them access to exchange recipient administrator, groups administrator. And it gets tricky when, you, when we talk about like permissioning, but obviously your uh, sysadmin might be in charge of this. You, you're definitely not gonna be in charge of this unless you're like an admin or something, but just wanna go over that. So I'm gonna hit leave. Uh, if you go back, you click on devices, it tells you what devices are, they have enrolled. You click on licenses and apps. I, I gave this person a license. So obviously when you check mark it um, and it tells you like, what do you, what licenses are you gonna give that person? Like, do you wanna give them licenses to Azure Active Directory? Do you wanna give them a license to Azure Active Directory uh, Premium One? And all these things are check marked for this person because they're, they, I gave them access to all these things. If you go to the right, there is mail. And then mail, this is like we do the mail permissioning, right? You have manage email apps. You have manage global address list visibility, manage email forwarding, and you have a, a convert to share mailbox and all this other stuff. See mailbox permissions are right there, just showed up. Um, you have OneDrive and obviously OneDrive's not set up for this user. And that's, that's pretty much it. 